All right, guys, I wanted to do a, a video here just kind of reviewing some concepts around circumference and uh, area of circles, okay? Um, really, there's three main formulas that you need to know, okay? Area of a circle, A equals pi times the radius squared. And there's only one formula for area. You'll use that every time, okay? Circumference of a circle. So if you want to find the circumference, which is the distance around a circle, okay, you can use two, either of these formulas. Okay? This formula is easier if you know the D. D is diameter, and a diameter is any line that goes through a circle through the center. Okay? A radius is any line that goes from the center to the edge of a circle. Okay? So if, you, if they give you what the diameter is, you'll want to use this one, C equals pi times the diameter. Okay? If they give you the radius, you can simply use this formula. The circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. Either way, you'll get the same answer. Okay? So let's look at this example here. We got a, I have a circle here, and it gives us that the diameter, the entire length of this line, that goes through the center of the circle is 10 centimeters. Okay? If I want to find out the area... I use my formula A equals pi times R squared, okay? And then I substitute in my radius. It doesn't tell us what the radius is, but I know that if the whole thing is 10, half of it, a radius, would be 5. So I plug in 5. My radius is 5 here, okay? So pi times 5 squared. And if I do that right on my calculator, you'll see that I got... So I hit my pi button. I hit 5 and I hit squared. Pi 5 squared equals, I get this big log number, okay? I round to two decimal places, 78.53, and I look at that 3, I look at the next number, 9. Does that tell me to round up or down? The 9 tells me to round the 3 up to a 4. So my answer is 78 and 54 hundredths. I would write A equals 78 and 54 hundredths. My label would be centimeters squared because I'm finding area, okay? Circumference, if I needed to find the circumference of that circle, and they gave me the diameter, I could use this. C equals pi times D. C equals pi times what is the diameter? Well, the diameter is labeled as 10, so I plug 10 into my formula. C equals, and then I simply do on my calculator, I perform this operation, pi 10 equals 31.415. The 5 tells me to round my 1 up to a 2. My answer is C equals 31 and 42 hundredths centimeters. No squared, just centimeters because I'm just finding the distance around the circle. Okay. I could use the other formula easy. I just have to figure out what the radius is first, okay? And my radius, once again, if my diameter is 10, my radius would be half of that, 5. So my formula is C equals 2 pi times the radius. C equals 2 pi times the radius, which we know is 5, so we'll plug that in. Then I simply do that on the calculator. 2 pi 5 equals... And I get the same exact, exact answer, 31.415. My 5 tells me to round my 1 up to a 2, 31.42 centimeters. So you can see that both formulas gave me the same circumference. One I used my diameter formula, the other one I used a radius formula. Hope this helps clear some things up for you guys.